are now talking with Dr. Richard Adler, who graduated from the School of Medicine, specializing in podiatry in 1977. And uh, thanks for coming in. It's my pleasure. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Uh, let's talk a little bit about having done your undergrad. You came here for medical school to study podiatry. What was the inspiration? How did you get interested in that? Uh, when I was in college, I was being treated for uh, some sports injuries. Found out about podiatry and uh, enrolled at the uh, Pennsylvania College of Podiatric Medicine, which later became the Temple University School of Podiatric Medicine. Got it. Got there it. There you go. How challenging uh, when you were here for that program was it? You hear so much about the difficulty of that level of study. It was very difficult. It was very, very difficult. Uh, very steep learning curve. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, after I finished uh, school here, then went on to residency and practice. For your for your practice, is is one of the biggest challenges simply growing it? Because I think a lot of people don't look at a medical practice as a business, that you do have to grow. You have to have some business savvy. You get out of school with a degree. You get out of your residency and you get board certified. But until you grow your practice, you have no business. And uh, in the past 35 years, there's been tremendous changes mm. in the economic climate of medical practice. And uh, uh, things we uh, have to deal with now in terms of uh, insurance issues right. didn't exist 35 years ago. I guess dialing back to the, the Temple experience, uh, you came here for medical school having done undergraduate study at Rutgers. How prepared did you feel when you uh, finished your experience here at Temple to really build that practice and start this career? You, you get out of uh, medical school and you're very well educated. You don't know anything about business practice. <laughs> uh, that's one thing that you, you, you hit the ground and you have to learn. Uh, you come out of your with a very good education in all matters medical, okay, medical or surgical, but you don't know anything about practice, okay, that you have to, you have to be mentored and you learn from trial and error. You have to be a human being, you know, if you're a human being and treat people properly, they're going to appreciate it and you'll uh, see the rewards of that. I guess continuing along with that, for uh, the students who are going to be graduating in your discipline, what's your advice to them? You have to make friends in the, the, the podiatric community and observe when you're a student you're, so that when you are completing your residency, you have some idea of the kind of practice situation you want to be in and how to run that. And we have quite a few students that do rotate through our practices to observe. Um, without that opportunity, students have no idea mm -hmm. how to uh, uh, run a practice and quite honestly, there's no time for them to learn that while they're in school. All right, we've been talking to Dr. Richard Adler, class of 1977, the School of Podiatric Medicine. Thanks again and congratulations. Thank you very much.